Okay, Lucky, what do you have for me? Yes. My pupil, we have achieved so much together. <laughs> but this is not where I belong. At last, I can finally break the seal on this accursed prison. Whoop. I can't say that it was not coming. Murder of Odin's blood son Baldur. I didn't know that from the mythology. It's like Cain and Abel thingy. Oh! <laughs> Don't you see? The tavern was nothing more than an illusion. Oh, we're fighting as a you god finally. You are going to help me get out of here. Come, show me what you've got. Final battle with Loki? I thought it's gonna be way different. You are beneath me. <laughs> Holy hell! You cannot defeat me. Do we have like a health bar or anything? Ah, uh, no. Okay. I feel like, yeah, this is the same combat like system from the normal units. Uh, okay. What the hell? I know which one is the right one. Ah, <laughs> uh, this combat. The halls of Asgard were shaken by arrival. One by one, the gods will fall. I must say my goodbye. My time in this prison is at an end. And the return of Loki is long over too. I mean it was the normal difficulty so whatever. Are you content with this victory? In this realm, born of my own fantasy. <laughs> I Dwelled here for years on end. As God, no freedom beckons beyond these walls. Cut that Don't bit. worry, my people. I won't leave you alone. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> so maybe this is not the end? <laughs> I'm like confused at this point, like what's going on? I... but I think it's not the end, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, <laughs> unfortunately it's like, I don't know how to say it. Okay! I don't know what to say. It appears that Loki's gone, and you're stuck here with us. What do you mean stuck? <laughs> but hey, why not make the most of it? Hey, Agir, ale for me and my friend. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, it's not the end. Jesus, I thought it's gonna end like that. Wait. Or actually... Wait a minute, we need to speak with the band? What? Huh? 
so confusing. <clears throat> This is the end? Okay. Exit the credits, whatever. I don't really care about this, but like... Is this really, really, really the end of the main storyline? Main menu. <laughs> Reward items none because you suck. So if we go to the quest book, that's it. The main storyline is finished. Interesting. I'm gonna do a little bit of research if there is something else besides that because it's really weird ending like we basically just collected all the stones and kinda defeated Loki but he escaped just like in Avengers bullshit or something but like what, what about the heroes because there is also one slot again maybe it's for racing actually so that would make sense oh, give me a sticker, sticker is way better <laughs> um, if... Uh, what is this? Mr. Sachka, Loki must have left his hand on the way out of his prison. So is this just the remembrance that we finished the game? What could it mean? If only there was a way of, out of this prison. Ah, wait, you mean I can't leave or something? Wait a minute. Maybe... Outside or something. Huh, the landscape changed kinda, but I'm so confused. World map. There are other planets that we can go. I don't know if there's like it is playable. Okay, you know, let me just do real fast like research on the ending and just be right back. <laughs> oh my god, people are just like contemplating about infinity stones and stuff like that. <laughs> this is not my uh, um, place to contemplate that, but seems like this is pretty much it like the ending like when Loki escaped it seemed like it's mainly like a I guess a hint for the sequel if there's gonna be eventually god damn I so mixed like mixed feelings about this ending the game overall also here, I uh, just real fast, uh, if uh, towards the story anyone is interested, here's a really good take on it. So it's basically I'm gonna scroll and you can pause and see what actually like kinda the ending means and just like what everything kinda, you know, is. Uh, so I'm just scrolling, scrolling. You can pause whatever and that's pretty much make the most sense out of anything that we saw. So yeah. Um, yeah, this rundown is gonna be really, like, weird. It's kind of like, to put it bluntly, um, with uh, each level, further we go into the game, playing on the hardest difficulty makes no sense because it's just that waste of money, waste of time, waste of anything. It's, it's not challenging. That's the problem with the combat system. The combat system is not challenging. The power system and the whole blocking things that with the companion and it's useless after a while. It's like the whole combat system is a big mess at the 
like towards the ending of the game. That's why I switched the difficulty basically. If the game had the same combat system as what's the name of the game? Uh, Under the Fall or un no Until You Fall? Yeah, combat system is amazing there, and it's like medieval kind of like you know this sword fighting uh, mechanics, which were probably the best kind of like if you were terms of action arcade-ish sword fighting for me was the best. Uh, this Ankh seems like a, a hint toward the sequel anyways, so yeah. You can also continue playing this game with side quests and the stuff like that, but like I'm not gonna do that. I just have no... no patience, that's the thing. No patience for the combat system. But, so that's the biggest like, kind of bad thing about the game. But overall, like, I still think that this game has pretty much the best uh, world design graphically, like, you know, immersive-wise, everything. You actually feel like you are in the Asgard and whole Midgar and this whole... their world. <laughs> I forgot the mythology. Um, so I have no complaints towards that. The only thing problem with the game is that the combat system. If you wanna play the hardest difficulties, but like when I switched difficulty, oh my god, it was immediately way easier. Like the armor breaking was way easier. I did not have to parry all the time. I just could like shoot or like just e explosives in general. And so on normal difficulty, get the game is lovingly pleasant to play. <laughs> I just put on myself a challenge, but at the end of the day I did not finish on the hardest difficulty, unfortunately. But that's the game's fault. I'm gonna put it like that, not mine. Uh, but I still, like, combat system aside, I still s enjoyed it. Nevertheless, such a good time to just experience uh, Pretty much the biggest game on Oculus Store and Oculus Exclusive um, for now, but like in the future it will change obviously. But it's such a staple um, and it's like you can't really forget about anything. It's like with our history of VR nowadays and now and towards the future, this is like the staple that it's gonna safe in the history books pretty much so i still liked what i played nevertheless the combat the combat people can and me complain about all the time but like there are other really big things about this game that you can miss that honestly and uh yeah i mean that's pretty much it froggy <laughs> it's about it's all about the characters and just like their personality and stuff like that. Uh, I did not climb here many times. I feel like it's like the yeah, just like throwing range. But that was pretty much the ending and my thoughts on on it. And uh, again, I'm me. shush. <laughs> that was pretty much it. And uh, hopefully, Sanzaro will do a sequel. With an upgraded combat system, everything that they learned from this game and from the feedback from the community. Because if you are gonna make the best quest, uh, best, best VR game of all time, you need to keep this momentum. For now, Alex has a podium, kinda, but not really. But yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's not this game. So hopefully, see you in the sequel. But like, I don't know when, maybe like five years later. That would be hilarious if my channel continues and just like, I will play the sequel of that. But that was it. Bam bam.